Hello guys, today I'm making a real review on the Shimano AX400 FB. Okay, I originally got this reel about six years ago on the Shimano Scabbard Combo. It, the rod is pretty nice, so if you're looking at the combo, although I don't think they sell it anymore, you should definitely get it. But this reel is a really cheap Shimano reel. It comes in about 30 bucks. You can find it at Walmart and Amazon. And Amazon I saw it as low as like 10 bucks, so definitely a good deal. I had this reel about six years though. There's a lot of wear and tear on it, and this one's pretty dirty. But I decided I probably shouldn't, you know, clean it up or anything because I wanted to show you how, like, the real state of this reel is in. After six years, I've only actually oiled it once, which is, you know, not good reel maintenance. But, I mean, it still works really good and it's pretty smooth considering the price and how long I've had it. A lot of the body is made out of plastic though, except it's very high quality plastic I feel like. I don't feel any flex in this reel. I've never had a problem with it being plastic. Any like I even think maybe it's better because it's lighter than metal which gives this reel a you know a little less weight. It is a heavy reel just because it's so cheap and everything you can't expect it to be top of the line but I do like that it's plastic and it's not going to corrode as easy. It says here it's a two bearing system which may be good for salt water. It's harder for like them to corrode or you can replace them easier. But, you know, it's two bearings. It's not really, you know, what you want. Obviously, um, Shimano now is advertising multiple bearings being smoother and better and more reliable. Just like, a, like Cast King is, they're putting like nine bearings in their bait casters. But to be honest, these two bearings in here have just been fine for me. It feels just as smooth as my more expensive reels and well maybe not just as smooth but it's comparable. I do like how easy it is to access this back part of the reel though. I've only had to do maintenance on it once and oil it but it's pretty easy to access. You have to take out a few screws and yeah it's pretty easy. I have this reel rigged up with 14 pound of that Cajun red line that you see at Walmart. It's really cheap and it's good and it works really good on this reel. Like I've only used that line on it and it's always done good for me. One thing about this reel and in other Shimano reels that I've had is that the drag is really smooth. Uh, you probably can't judge that on video, but it's really smooth and you can get a lot of drag power out of it. But it's super duper smooth. Especially for how cheap it is. These are the line capacities on it. So 8 pound line you can get 240 yards, 10 pound 200 yards, 12 pound 160 yards. I use 14 pounds but it's this is actually really good mono so it's probably 160 yards of it. Overall, I like this reel. I'd recommend going on Amazon and paying like 20, 25 bucks for it because it is held up well for me. I use it in freshwater, saltwater, and it works really well and I definitely enjoy it for the price. I put it probably a little bit above on quality level, definitely for saltwater, for the Shimano Sienna. I definitely enjoy using this reel. I use it for bass, catfish, anything, basically, and Yes, I'd definitely recommend it. I'd either recommend this or a Shimano Sienna. I'd recommend a Shimano Sienna if you're fishing in mainly freshwater, mainly because I like how it looks a little more. But if you're fishing saltwater, I'd definitely go this over the Sienna, just because I feel like it's held up better.